Oh, so the guy's in Western and he doesn't he won't come to us? No. This car's ruined. That's why I like to see a bit of competition. Wanna be like a wolf pit. There's always something that can be dwelling with product whilst you're working on something else. A 400 quid worth of what is smart polish is yeah. a waste of time. That's a transfer box, right? Yeah. yeah. The dashboard's like a good thing, man. You get some Best car bought and best car sold. Good morning, everyone. Still technically morning, isn't it? Yeah, it's 10 past 11. This will be the first footage you get because Toby's not in. He's got a dicky tummy. I am in the very nice Estoril Blue 320D that we got by James of Chops Garage. I'm taking this over to Western Wheel Refurbs, Refurbs, Refurbishments, and Customization, actually, to uh, get the wheels redone because they need diamond cutting really. In fact, they need the whole, they need stripping back, completely painting, then uh, diamond cutting. So, I'm gonna take this over there because uh, last week you would have potentially seen me take the mini, whatever it is, mini, mini paste, it's not a paste, it might be a pacement actually, it might be, a little coupe thing. It tells me I've got 44 miles in here, so I better stop and get some fuel first. This is actually my first time driving this proper. I think we brought it back on a trailer from Chops Garage. Yeah, I don't know if anyone else has driven it. I almost sounded a bit like it had a bit of a wheel bearing going, but it might not have been. We'll find out when we get on the motorway. windy here again today. I don't know if you had to see across the road there. Someone's bins blowing out into the road. I just tipped over and keep blowing out in front of cars that are coming that way. Now in days gone by I would have gone and propped them up or opened up the door and stuck them back in because I like to be helpful but that's the old me. I'm not doing that anymore because People don't thank you for that sort of stuff anymore. This is actually car number two that I've got from Chops Garage that are having the wheels refurbished today, believe it or not. So I'm dropping this one to Western Wheels and we're gonna pick up the mini thing that's there. And then we've got our sort of mobile wheel diamond cutting guy. Uh, he is doing the white Mercedes estate. Jason's got in, in to do that. Now we could have got him to do both potentially. I think he's gonna come back and do another set on Tuesday, he said. But the wheels on this, I'll try and remember to get you a little clip. Um, the face needs cutting so it's nice and shiny again, but actually the bit that's painted in between the spokes as well, it's kind of like corroded and just looks rubbish. So really they need like dipping all the way back, kind of uh, painting again and then polishing off the face and then I don't know sealing or what do they call it lacquering they seem quite friendly chaps at Western Wheels so maybe one day we'll have to ask if we can go in and watch the whole process get done maybe on something interesting oh this isn't interesting this is very nice actually getting roasted by my heated seat anyway uh, yeah I thought I'd come out and do this even though we've got Macaulay kicking around today just because I wanted to get out Monday morning, it started off just stressful, to be honest. Um, no particular reason why, but you know, some mornings just start out that way. No one seems to be in the best of moods. I mean, I came in in a pretty good mood, but everyone just seems like the world's up against them and being a bit short with each other and whatever else. And uh, yeah, nothing major, just, just a bunch of men being babies, but. Uh, it must just be bare amount of time of the month, but we are selling loads. It's very busy and I'm loving that hustle at the moment. So yeah, anyway, that's that. I'm waffling now. Uh, I'll see you when we get there and I'll show you the wheels on this 
Mini, because I've gone for shadow chrome rather than black. Could be interesting. See you then. Right, that is the Mini picked up. BMW dropped off. I've got to get any footage of the BMW, but I'm sure Toby's got some somewhere. These wheels are looking real nice. Shadow chrome. I thought it was going to be like darker, blacker than they look, but actually these are probably a better fit for this car because it's got like the sort of dark grey accents on the wing mirror caps and things like that that they actually seem to tie in really well. So uh, we ended up doing the whole wheel in one colour because they are split rim. I think you're asking for trouble if you start splitting them down and uh, trying to powder coat one bit and polish the other bit like the factory finish. I'm sure it can be done but just not not worthwhile doing in this scenario. They're gonna they look lovely as they are now. Um, yeah so that's that. It'll be interesting. But as far as the BMW goes I said uh, I think we should diamond cut them again. So he said he reckons you should do black inlays with a diamond cut work rather than it's got the sort of silvery grey at the moment. So hopefully that will look good. They should pop pretty well. And it costs a little bit more to do it that way, but it's it's gonna look better on the car. I'm just curious because I said about there being maybe a bit of a wheel bearing noise. There wasn't, but there was a bit of a wobble. So we could simply have uh, I think maybe a rear wheel, unbalanced rear wheel. Because you notice as well when I was braking that it was wobbling a little bit more. But it wasn't through the steering and it wasn't through the pedal. So it's just a general car wobble, which made me think there's an unbalanced wheel on the back. And I'm hoping it's just unbalanced and it isn't um, buckled. But they will tell us once they get them apart if there is a buckle in there. I'm hoping just some weights have fallen off or something. Um, but I guess they can do repairs there anyway, so it would just cost me more money. Anyway, so yeah, we wouldn't want a double machine. Um, what's the damage on a bottle of gas? Because I understand that the gas itself is rather expensive. Oh, okay. Because the other ones we get in air, what was the other ones? So the ones in the 12 litre, isn't it? Or a, is it 12 litre? Yeah. Hint by ride in Western. Yeah, I think still exists. And then what maybe after that, they're on it just. Hello, just... is that tint by ride? Do you still trade? <laughs> do, you, do you have a you know me uh, Winterstone or are you mobile or what? Yeah, just got a bill from you, so I guess we finished the Peugeot, so Joe. Alright, lovely job, I'll swap it with a disco. You, it's a scuff on the near side rear corner. You'll see it, it's obvious. Lovely, thanks James, speak to you soon. Cheers, bye. Yeah, what do you think? Um, she's doing it. No, she was going to get the MOT done there and just send the bill for 50 quid. But as it's got to come to us, yeah, yeah. it's got to come to us for the camera because it's not working properly. So we've got to look at that, yeah. get the rear window sorted out by the tinting guy and yeah. the MOT. I'll try and get it all done here then. Save. Yeah, that's what I mean. But so would it be better to get the MOT done in Western, like on the way to him? Do you see what I mean? Or I, I mean, I'm someone's good. got to hang around with it for an hour. Yeah, I'm not very good at logistics. So logistics, sorry. Um, so you, t is, you tell is, me. Oh, so the guy's in Western. He doesn't. He won't come to us. No. Okay. But we can take the Ford Edge to him and pick it up, or we take the C Class to him. If you see what I mean? Yeah. Um, so it's just, it's just the. Do them both on the same day. Is that right? No. I, no? So I get the Ford oh. Edge to you whenever, but I need to have a day for the C Class. Okay. To do the MOT as well. So there's a better MOT here at Warro. Probably. And him. Is there a bit more? Yeah. Sensible. Then. Yeah. I can speak to them, I suppose, and say, can you do it in the afternoon? At some in fact, point let's have a look at our grand retire and see how that fares today. So. Yeah. Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> Sorry? Only, yeah, they do petrol. Yeah. Fell quite badly on rest. Irritating. It's quite a smart little thing, that. Quite enjoyed driving it. Uh, it's not going to be a good end for our video, is it? No. Might be a good end. This car's ruined! See if we can get it up and find look at the rest and stuff. And then we'll just shoot it, set fire to it. Oh, we should just invest in a car crusher. We should just turn all our cars into little cubes of metal. Just. Fuck. Go and have a look, they're saying the wheels are bad. The Audi A5 that have just been refurbished. Yeah, they're not shiny, they're dull. They're like. These were said to the powder coaters to be done. But yeah, now that now it's outside, I mean they're, they're uniform and they're neat, but I, yeah, they're not they're not metallic. They're silver with some silvery bits in them. <laughs> <laughs> they look better than having curb marks and scratches. Yes, that's the important thing. Yes, yeah. they look nice. I'd be surprised if he has it. Be bloody good if he could have it clean by Thursday. Well, we'll do, but Macaulay started cleaning it yesterday, and I was like, fuck, why is he start just randomly started cleaning this? Yeah. Like, I want to make a video of it and be like, look how grabby it is, look how nice we can now make it look. And he's just, like, yeah. just jet washing things for the fun of it. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to make this. Funny enough, the, when uh, Andy's, when the, the Jordan type Valentine came along, he would do the jet washing, and then as soon as he finished jet washing, he'd pass it on to his sidekick, and he would do all the work. Yeah. And then he'd just jet wash away at things until yeah. he had nothing. Then he'd think, oh, I'll, I'll well, like George, polish something when he was, a bit. he was booking a car for him to do a ballot on, he's like, yeah, if you just get Mark to do the insides, <laughs> get the crap, like, no, you booked it in, you do the shit job. Yeah. And so like, you get yeah, your hands in Mark, the dirt. Let Mark do the brushing and on the outside of the jet so washing. Play with the jet wash. <laughs> Have I sold any cars today? Yes, I have, actually. Have I? Yeah, Range Rover Evoque. Every day, mate, every day. You <laughs> sold it from under Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Stole it away from him. That's why I like to see a bit of competition. I want it to be like a wolf pit. Which one? The red Discovery Sports. I'm going to bring that one forward today into the workshop. And the... Just, there is a red, trust me, the no, red no, Discovery Sports. No. And bring back the... Out, Peugeot GTI thing. Yep. Also, the Nissan Note has to go to Paul at Woodrow. At uh, Walrow, sorry. Paul Woodrow at Walrow? Paul, yeah. Paul something at Walrow. Morning. What have we got here? Plants and crops. Oh, just well. There's a plant in here, apparently. I thought it came with a pot. Uh, 
so that's what it's going to look like. Oh, so where's the pop? Video's doing well, mate. No, no, it's Got Wayne Drive the video. We've got the uh, Grand Patara back now, so we can have a look at that today. Okay. I think the Dom hasn't turned up yet. All the door jams, all the engine bay, yeah. and then the spare pair of hands are going to get on the wheels. Yeah. Rule of thumb with the wheels, do they look shit or are they quite clean? Yeah. If they're quite clean, they'll just need a standard safe wheel cleaner. Yeah. If they look pretty clean, um, if they're shit, then we get out this. The acid. The acid. Right, Always okay. mix it minimum 50 50 because it's savage as fuck. Don't get it on your hands, don't breathe it in because it will like change your life. Um, so you do mix it. So to me, yeah, definitely mix it down. To yeah, see, we, we're. Do no, you just use it neat? Yeah, we were told using it neat. I suppose the so, paint that Exactly right. that. It is so savage. That might be why then some of the calipers were coming back a bit sort of like grainy. White? Yeah. Yeah, milky. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so that, okay, yeah. So yeah. Dilute that shit because right. it will literally it will like score your insides. Yeah. Cool. Get all those sprayed up. Oh mate, can I change your life? That trigger is annoying the shit out of me. <laughs> I mean, it's not my favourite, but please welcome to straightforward life. And in this game, there's always something that can be dwelling with product whilst you're working on something else. Right. So typically, door shuts first, yeah. then we can spray the wheels up and the door shuts are dwelling, then we'll come back to the door shuts and the engine bay, then we'll come back to the wheels. So you're constantly moving. moving around yeah. instead of, oh, let's do the roof, oh, let's do the bumper, oh. So this is a patio cleaner. Yeah. And we're only going to use a patio cleaner for fabric arches. Yeah. Um, plastic, we'll just use a pr normal pressure washer. Yeah. Yeah. Now, pop this. Oh, fucking hell, son. Oh. There we go. So now, whilst everything's dwelling, McCauley's on the door shuts. Yeah. We're going to... I like to call it fuzzing. We're right. going to fuzz out the arches. Okay. Only the fabric arches. Yeah. And blast, this will just literally annihilate all the mud yeah. straight back to the fabric and give you banging clean arches really quickly. Nice. Instead, of uh, instead of pressure washing all the mud out and spending ages, yeah. this will just tear through it. Look at these fancy wheel woolies. They're really good at getting between the brake out of this. Yeah. Oh, mate. Give me a rest. That dog just is like another child. <laughs> yeah, he's literally my shadow but also my pain in the ass. <laughs> How's it going then, Mark? Yeah, really good actually, mate. Yeah. What's our uh, sharp stains? Oh, there are no sharp stains. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's as far as you need to go, isn't it, for a sales car, you know? This is exactly what I was saying. Could we spend an extra, like, four hours on it? Exactly, Dress yeah. this, finesse this, scratch this, yeah, but get it in, done, glossy, without the bullshit silicon shine and get it on the forefront looking as good as any can. of them particular, obviously we need to do paint and things on this anyway, yeah. but still say there's little things, some like, oh, could you just make those carpets look blacker or something? Yeah. You can do it as an after thing, it's almost like a negotiation then. Exactly yeah. that, so get it to 90% and then finesse the details later, but in yeah. the meantime, you've got two of these done a day, you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Is there anything we need to get that we don't have? I suppose we've got more than me, haven't we? You've got everything. Um, get rid of what you've got on the shelf, basically. Yeah. All the finesse, all the silicone, all that stuff. You do need some polar seal. 
Okay. Or Aqua Seal, it's the same stuff, but Aqua Seal's a little bit more expensive. It's that 400 quid worth of what is smart polish is yeah. a waste of time. The, uh, the stuff that I got there, yeah. that pot is about 38 quid. Yeah. It lasts you about 12 months. Benzerna, yeah. smooth, it's water-based, it's not dusty, it goes on, off, like a dream, would you say? Oh, God, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah Straightforward, yeah. and these Costco cloths. Okay. Pack of 36, 20 quid in Costco. You got a Costco card? Uh, no, I can get one. Wicked. Um, and yeah, you're pretty much sorted. As opposed to a cupboard full of 400 quid worth of polish. <laughs> well, yeah, it's just like buying bits and pieces. Yeah, you don't need to buy any more, you've got everything. Yeah, no yeah. more spending, no more spending. No, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. It wasn't me who was doing it. No. But yeah. Perfect. Um, yeah. Uh, the machine um, is making life harder for yourself, even though it's an entry level machine. Yeah. It's almost like a super entry machine yeah, yeah. to the point where the machine polisher spinning rotation doesn't spin. It's like an adapted angle grinder. Probably. Or a vibrating plate that just does this. Yeah, well, I don't mind so, getting another one. I did say before, I happily get another one because it's so noisy as well. And noisy, yeah. So I've got a budget one with me. Something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just uh, spins a bit more. It's quieter. Easy to fucking use, and it's about eighty quid. Okay, let me take a picture. So I know what I'm gonna order. Plus, Mark is. Oh, I'm trying to get it to spin. Uh, there we go. And then that time, I've gone round with my other machine around yeah, the whole yeah. whole car. That's it. I don't mind spending the money on what we need to. That's what I wanted to do: is spend the money on what we need to, and not on what we don't need to. Yes, hundred percent, hundred percent. That's what that's we call dumb. Well, yeah. don't get done. <laughs> <laughs> Like, look at this side angle of that there, look at it. It's a Fiesta vibe. It wasn't six Shiny like, like a it. diamond and a goat's ass. Yeah. It was going to bead like no tomorrow. Yeah. And it will last like two to three months. Enough time for a customer to go, yes, it's great, buy it, deal. Um, and it didn't take very long to put on and off. No. no. 10, 15 minutes on and off, which you can add as an extra wax. So if you've got a dealership two. and you need to get taught how to clean cars like we did, check out DVD or something. <laughs> Oh. Like, it's free today now. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know if you want to put some, get some number plates made up? We chuck them off in the wash day, so we can all wash behind it. So we're gonna go on and all nice and fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Again, that was something I was just trying to because they would do them. Like, just take the number plates off now, wash it. Yeah. yeah but, but no, they wouldn't. But you can clean all them behind now. And yeah, they, 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 they would jet wash it with the number plates on, which would be ones that have got like a little lip at the bottom, and ours haven't. So then oh. there's a dirt lip. Just it's just doing things logically, isn't it? Yes. There is a water leak in this thing as well. Oh right, so we've got some damp in there. Yes. Oh yeah. But yeah, yeah. hoping it's just if you say damp, it's like a swimming pool. Oh okay. Hoping that it was just this was a bit loose. Oh okay. So it was coming in here and it was pooling up in here. I wouldn't be surprised if it's these seals up through here. Fiestas are notorious for it. This seam, they just start leaking. Do they? Yeah, so okay. we so imagine putting that polish on yeah. and buffing it off and it's not coming off. Just not coming and off. And you're like, what do I do now? Then you use quick detailer yeah. to get it off. Yeah. Then you made a smeary mess. And these are just really hard to use. Whereas that Mansurda stuff, yeah. on, off. So I get that on Marketplace for like 20 quid a bottle and say they're pretty full. Yeah. And try and claim 2, 4, 6, 8, 7, 12, 15, 660 quid. But somebody will bite your hand off because some people love it. This afternoon, yeah. Mm -hmm. no, no, no the notes, you know, the blackness on notes. Yes, yeah. Saturday. Mm -hmm. The outside is horrible on that car. Mm -hmm. like, it's going to need a bit of just a clean and polish at least. Yeah. Just when you look, see what I mean. Yeah. Nice. But yeah. Bit deal. Let's go out Saturday. Okay. No worries. There's probably going to be more, but I'll add to it right now. No worries. Right. Yeah, it's got to come here because it's going like going to service menu. Display settings, service menu, then display, last alarm sensors, volumetric sensor. Is that to you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just the roll of the puzzle. 
Well, yeah, it came with the. Um, you need a speaker grill for that Range Rover Evoque. You can't buy a speaker grill on its own. So I had to buy a door card with a speaker grill in it. And this was roughing said door card. So um, we'll take the speaker grill out and we'll sell the door card separately. So we venture up into the loft. Yeah. Shut that up there. Yeah, of course. <coughs> Stay there for now. So many bloody tyres. Why have we got half a dozen 195? <laughs> Dan noticed those the other day. I think he said that they were ordered for a certain car and then they didn't want the tyres being done. So we've got four. Yeah. I should really look down here when we have to replace things because we've got bloody far too many. Yes. <laughs> look in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's the bearing coming out of the, the front bearing, disc. The best. The bearing. Is that the transfer box? There? That's the transfer box. Right, yeah. let me get a picture of that. Yeah. Um, it's droning. That's what the noise is. It could be Ow. a slight hint of rear wheel bearings in it, but there's so much noise coming from that, I'm not sure. Can we get a replacement one, or what's the, what's the solution? I f yeah, I don't know yet. I mean, I would suggest get a second hand transfer box. Yeah. But they said take it to gear change or fucking cause it, I'm like, well that's not to be too hasty. <laughs> but yeah, second hand transfer box seems like a good idea. What do you think, Tony? You can get them. And... I'm sure you can get them somewhere, just don't know how much it'll cost. You know, and that, that will actually support it. Yeah. yeah. Obviously they're like, oh, we'll have to tie up the ramp for ages and be a pain, but I think if it saves us a thousand pounds, it's worth the grief. Yeah, I don't know if we know all the information do we, I guess. So. I shall find out. Hello. Oh. Welcome back. Busy morning of meetings and accounting stuff. We've had Ian from Dealer Kit in, who've seen us on YouTube, and they do a dealer management system, which I'm quite excited about actually. All of our boards and things on the wall here will just be defunct. I'll probably still keep that board because I like looking to see how many cars we've sold, but um, yeah, stock book, kind of job sheets, and all that sort of stuff will be done in that so as we get that implemented in the next couple of weeks I'll let you know how it goes right so it's currently half past two uh, I managed to buy a I would just out of habit say a nice disco sport but I don't know if it's nice or not we're gonna find out in a minute uh, I bought it via BCA instead of Bridgewater it's literally 15 minutes up the road so I've roped Toby into uh, should I, I should speak to those people forecourt like technicians and I like, find out how much it would be to get my pumps removed at the garage because yeah it's not a DIY job I don't think anyway we're off to go and get this disco sport um yeah I guess we'll see you when we get there and we'll find out if it's any good or not just seen a uh like a doctor's response car go past and it was a Renault Zoe. Can you imagine if they had to phone you up, you're there having a heart attack and they're like, yeah, sorry, the doctor couldn't quite make it because he ran out of charge. So just have to die now. What a vehicle to use for a kind of like response vehicle. A Renault Zoe with a range of 50 miles. Very well thought out. There it is, the new discovery. Oh, she's a beauty. You'd certainly make a few discoveries in that thing, I'd imagine. Why is it always that you see these vans and someone's obviously put like a roof light on there because they've used it as a camper van at some point, but they've always been stripped back to nothing when they come to sell them. Like, why not leave the camper stuff in or... I don't know. Done some excellent paint repairs on it. <laughs> Crap. You gonna go and look for the old girl? Indeed. What colour is it? I think it's grey. Blech. Doesn't say. How's it look, Toby? It's alright. It's alright. Good, good, good. We've got two key service history. All that good stuff. Oh. The boot opens, I didn't mean to, but it does. Oh yeah, it's one that looks like it needs a, a pretty good valet, I think. But, 
seven seater. I don't think our other one was seven seats, was it? Someone in the comments did say, Dale Steele, who does comment on every video, so thank you, Dale. Sometimes helpful, sometimes not. Um, but they're all seven seaters, but I don't think the last one was. But it might have been. I don't really know much. Quite dusty, but not smoky. That's good. Someone's been using the old seat belt around the back of the seat trick, so they don't have a bing bong. So we'll have to sort that out. What's the point in that? Yeah. Well, so they can sit in it without wearing a seat belt, but the seat alarm doesn't go off. Yeah, I know, but surely it's just easier to just... Put a seatbelt on. Seat yeah, I know, but some people are just weird, aren't they? Like, no, I'm not comfortable with a seatbelt on. Nah, I need to be free, mate. You're free to f***ing smash through the windscreen, you f***ing utter t But, you know, each to their own. <laughs> just don't tell the police. Right. Land Rover Chipperfield. Wherever that is. Is that where this has come from? Don't know. Right, let's see if it starts. Oh, God. Who can get in a car with this steering wheel that low? This is what you always do and the lads do. It's not like I've got like really big like legs, really. Not in a good way. Sweet as a nut, mate. We've got a SD card in for the nav there. Got a parking permit for the reindeer park, maybe. Or deer park or something. Uh, it says we've got 19 miles to empty. Uh, we forgot the tray plates again, so also be driving illegally again. Um, so we'll just chance it. We're going down the farm because did I say about the? Did I say on camera we've got an Evoke down there that Sophie was going to try and sell. Uh, I was going to get her to sell it because I bought it because I thought it looked really good value. It's really annoying that bonging, isn't it? Um, yeah, it looked really good value, but it's 138,000 miles, so I was like, mm, I don't know if I have it there, but Sophie could sell it. She doesn't really manage to have, have much interest in it, which is fair enough, because it's the sort of car that some people want to buy from a garage. So we're going to pick that up as well while we're here. And we'll both drive illegally back to the garage. Call the police on us. Sue us. It's just what you got to do sometimes. Right, let's uh, rock and roll. See you at the farm. Ciao. Right, but that's the dry bend. Chewed. It's supposed to sit in like that. There's two rivets there where that riveted in there. That went all the way across there and there's the other part of the frame. Oh, so it just snapped right out. That's even cheaper. Yeah, that's probably about it. Doesn't matter. We just want the bottom. Oh, that's a shame. Where is it? To it. The dashboard's like a Christmas pin now. Oh, that's alright. What have we done? I'm done. <laughs> Jerry Hill. Oh, I lost the other um, um, So, what's on the dash? Uh, ABS, traction control, parking brake, tyre inflation. Yeah. Nothing, the si nothing serious, though. Typical Mercedes. Yeah, well, it's you, I'm a midlife, you got one. Yeah, you have a midlife crisis. <laughs> no warnings on my car. It's so dirty though. Oh, that's bad. Well, you know what I mean. It's, it's, it's not like years of dirt. This will rinse off easy. Yeah, with some good food off. Now, what's your question? Do you want to want? 
jet wash will get that off. Yeah, will it? Don't put anybody in one on the Hello! Did you get, I did send you some rushes. You did, yeah. The, the chuck thing is gone. It was the I did roll over it with the uh, oh, there's a slide ground batara. Unlatched I've, it. Unlatched it and it's just, oh. Giving him the opportunity to get out of that, haven't I? I, yeah. um, I checked the dash cam. I couldn't figure out how to... If you take the SD card out, you can see the rear view. Oh, I was trying to see if I could do it with the actual thing. So that's got a warning on it for. There's a new screwy guy in BCA, he's very strict. Is he? Yeah. I thought he was a police officer, but he just makes himself look like one. It smells like incense in here. It does. Um, also, there's mats in the boot and they look pretty new, so... You've been owned by a witch. Or someone from Glastonbury. <laughs> someone from Glastonbury. A hippie. Yeah. Is the other still there? It's weird. No, it's just weird now. Might just be because it... I did been... drive it up and down the road. Yeah, it might have been that needed a bit of a reset. There's no Smells a bit smoky, but it would do if it's been sat around. Um, where do you want that in that hole right there? Sketches, you know, like the old lady shoes. Yeah. So they're comfy though. Yeah, they're comfy. Yeah, they're they're comfy. 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 You got to make your boy the footballer who's like, yeah, I love my sketches because they look so good. It's like, they fucking don't. They're, just they're fucking awful. They've paid you a lot of money. Yeah. A lot of money to say those words. <sighs> I don't reckon that chalk thing went through someone's window because there's no one inside the road on the way back. So I reckon I'm, I'm good. Yeah, you'll be all right. Yep. I don't you don't need one anyway, really. Yeah, I, I, I reckon it could be. You don't need either of them, but it's just. Yeah. Oh, because I checked on the motor on the way back. I don't think it's come off the motor. I reckon it's came off down by the farm. Yeah, it might be. It yeah. might have got dragged off with the bumper of yeah. the Grand Vitara or something. Yeah. Or... Where did you pull it off now? You, could, we, you well. can have a look at the SD card anyway. Um, right, you're, so you're around on the bad now, aren't you? Oh, I'm free, mate. Cool. Do you want to do a little cheeky postal, um, postal run for me? And then we might get you to um, come with us to. We've got loads of new cars, so we could do it just taking some down the hand car wash. Yeah. Cool. Uh, let's just speak to. First car, second car. Anything else for the post office? Then what's on no, the side? Only what's up there, that parcel to the side. First, second, third, fourth. First. Thanks again, mate. Everything. Everything. You need a. I've got a company card. Oh, okay, you can use that. Can I use that? Yeah, and... Um, yep. Nice to see you, Mike. Thanks for coming in, mate. See you again. So there's like little wheel stops that um, latch into the trailer oh, that he was using. You know, the ones that you kind of drive up to it and you bump stop at it. One of them's come off, apparently. Um, well, it's missing. It could be down the farm. Who knows? I nearly killed some old guy. You did? Yeah. Right then. Yeah. See you later. That's Dan's work wife, girl from MPD. 
they will they won't they will they won't they seems like they won't but they found some fun. much much later and yeah. the disco sport, so yeah. you get the key to the disco sport. Yeah. Take out, just bring a bag. Yeah. Just bring a bag, because we, we should put the pressure on the center. Yeah, we'll, 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 take, we'll take it how it is then. Sorry? We'll take it just how it is. Look at this, sea of brown. Mm. Lovely. It smells as a brown as it looks. It's very, it smells like a cigar smoking lounge in there. <laughs> Blast designer. <laughs> Well, it was shut a minute ago, so it's definitely your fault. No, you never. Yeah. Alright, I've shut it. I mean, I would say that's how you fix, but it's fixed. Little tip if you've got a stinky car. Really, we should change the pollen filter first because that, oh, that's irritating. Look at the job you get from down bloody and car wash. Still got Britain's Britannica Gardens growing in it. Yeah, you can get like those aircon bomb things, set them off in the car, you need the aircon recirculating so that it is going through the pollen filter and whatever. Or you get some blast like this, explosion fragrance and uh, pump it down on the passenger footwell. Close the door. Leave it running for five, ten minutes and it'll circulate throughout and make it smell nicer for at least two days. I'll be having that if it is. <laughs> right, so uh, it's towards the end of the day on Saturday, um, but I've got an audit due on uh, our stock funding it's not quite the coolest thing in the world to talk about I suppose, is it stock funding or whatever because most people want to say did it all my own money makes all my own cash um i mean i was to start off with but now i do like using stock funding because it's helping us grow much faster what that means is with v12 they've got like a like a self uh audit i don't know why i couldn't find that word i just said it self auditing system with other sub providers that they've had before like close brothers who we don't use anymore um, they would come out and they would check, they want to see that the cars were here and they'd make a note and they'd check the mileage was correct and all that sort of stuff. So it wasn't just me saying, yeah, I've bought this car, I've bought that car, just making up a load of rubbish and getting a load of money. Um, but with V12, you go around with a little app and you've got these little um, NF, NFC, what are they, is it NFC, the little RFID type thing? You know, like the little blip blip things. So you use an app on your phone and you kind of go bloop the little tag, take a picture of it next to the VIN number, and it geotags you and all that malarkey. So I've only ever done this once on the phone with them. Some of them says they've already got a tag. A lot of them haven't. So what's our closest one? A 5 Series. It's not that one. 
Oh, that one is on there as well, actually. Right, so... <coughs> we need to... Get a bloody barrow sand. Ridiculous. So bring that little cloth, dry it off. Pick a tag. Put that there. Lovely. Right. Tap the screen. NFC. Oh no, hang on. Scanning. Wrote data to NFC tag. Verify. That's one car done. Just 11 more to do. While we do that, we'll talk about what's the best car bought, what's the best car sold. Or maybe not, since we've got people here and I'm going to go camera shy now. Right, this Bilingo is one of them. Best car bought and best car sold, I don't really know Toby, what have we bought? Bought a few uh, Rangy Rover products, so you could say one of those I suppose. Um, did we get that Mini this week? Let's just say we did. That, that Mini we've just done a tag on there, we'll show you in a second. It's probably one of the nicest, I haven't really had a chance to go out in it. I need to take something this weekend. Maybe I'll take that. Auto, Cooper S. Bit of a bad boy. This is the first one I've had to do where it's, we've done it once before. So I think I just need to scan it again. I wonder if my tag has now broken. Right, um, let's do the other five series, wherever that is. Where is our other five series? Why see? That'd be the white one, wouldn't it? Is that? Oh, it's this one here. Oh, this one? Yeah. Got a lot of five series at the moment, haven't we? All right, let's go and do the Navara. Let's put the A5 in the thingy. Quite a tedious process, really, but I mean, it's not as tedious as. Uh, auditors turning up and checking everything over and whatever. Get to do it in your own time. It's just stupid that I've chosen end of day to do it. Did they keep it? This is the problem. So this one does have a tag associated with it already. I think they've jet washed it off. And don't really know what I can do about that. Um, that's done as much as we can do because one of them won't scan. It's not really my fault, one of them's gone missing. So I'll have to call them on Monday. So we did we discuss what the best car bought was? Yeah, we said the uh, Mini Cooper S. Best car sold. Um, I don't know, I guess we have to go in the office and have a look at the sales board to see what's even sold. Right, so this week, what day did this week start on? We started on the 15th, so since the 15th we've sold the Disco Sport, the Evoque, the Fiesta and the Mini, uh, a Mini, I don't even know which Mini, which Mini have we sold? Oh, the uh, Paceman. Let's say that because we talked about that, didn't we? We saw that in, not last week, but the previous weeks where I did the wheels and Thomas told me that I was going to go to prison for covering up damage on the wheels. And then we had the wheels done by um, Western Wheel Refurbishments because I was so worried about my lengthy prison sentence. And yeah, it sold very shortly after. So that was a very good result. A sale and no prison time. Sorry, a bit sarcastic. Um, yeah, that's it. We've actually got two... Lots of people still looking at cars. It is three minutes past two 
So technically we'd be sharp. i got to go because I'm going off to do a few hours of accounting now. My sister in the office down the farm, so that would be fun. But, yeah, um, that's it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. If you're a subscriber, when we hit 75,000 subscribers, you'll be in a chance of winning that £2,000 tag player watch that I am giving away. Don't forget to check out feelgoodcompetitions.com. We're raffling off a car, some cash, a watch, multiple watches, actually. Um, all in support of 25% going to Jack's neuroblastoma journey. Jack Guide is a young lad, five years old. He's got a very rare cancer and we're trying to raise some money so we can get some treatment in America. So go and check that out, get involved. If you don't want the car, you can have five grand cash instead. I'm not going to judge you. I'll just sell the car. Anyway, um, that is it, I think. If you want to see any of our cars, you can go to bearmouse.co.uk. We haven't got very many at the minute. I'm trying to buy more. So keep an eye out for lots of videos coming. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.